Service is warning of more flooding in Gauteng, which could affect roads, informal settlements, and low-lying bridges. Just overnight, we've seen people in areas such as Centurion and the broader Pretoria area this morning waking up to flooded homes, some streets impossible to navigate as a result of rains overnight. Let's get an update now and speak to emergency services spokesperson in the city of Johannesburg, Nana Khatebe, for a picture of what's going on in the economic hub. Nana, just how widespread has the flooding been here? Unfortunately, we've not received any later incident, incidents. Yesterday, our aquatic unit went around to check river levels also this morning. Uh, we were checking high-risk areas like in um, Alexandra, Deep Slot, and parts of Soweto, where we usually get floods if it continuously rains. Fortunately, we've not had any danger zones, but we are keeping uh, our eye on the low-lying areas. And also, would also want to urge motorists to drive very carefully, as roads are still slippery. As some of the road roads had uh, flooded, but by the time we went there, everything was okay. Mm. Because there were reports of areas that did see some worrying trends. I think closer to four ways overnight, some ward councillors were being quoted saying that there was quite serious heavy down for, uh, rain there overnight. But as you're saying all appears to have subsided now but in the high risk areas i'm thinking of the yekske river for example the concern i'd imagine for emergency services would be if we see rain to the level of friday night throughout the weekend am i right uh, definitely we are in contact with the south african weather services just to check if there'll be any fresh flooding but we'll also continuously check the river levels if they rise then we'll be able to speak to the people that are living in low-lying areas so they can move up to where it's safe that is our most concern but also as i said there are roads that we know we have uh, received a few calls in four ways where roads were flooded we have we are in contact with the mpd for them to close down the roads but by the time we went there because it was raining and stopping, then the, uh, the roads had subsided, the rain had subsided. And resource-wise, Nana, what is the plan that you then have to go to in the event that there is serious flooding in one area or even more? Uh, let's say, for instance, if it rains very hard and uh, Alexander is hit like we've had uh, before, we we'll then have to be in contact. We work together with disaster management where we would have to move people that are at risk to a higher place so that if uh, the, the, the water levels come to where they are staying, they are able to be taken out into a safer sp uh, space. But we find problems where people don't want to leave their belongings. But at that time, the, the environment would not be safe and would have to ensure that where they are, they are moved and kept at a safer place. Mm. And we often hope when this happens, you and I have spoken over the years, that when this heavy rain does come down, it's not accompanied by cold weather, especially in communities where people have no electricity and would resolve or resort to paraffin stoves and then ultimately they then have candles tipping over or the stoves themselves leading to fires we we'll definitely hope so because already we're dealing with load shedding we don't want to have a, a disaster where we, there's no electricity because of the down call that is uh, uh, continuing so we'd hope that it, it, it drains but with the rain coming, it has that uh, time when it stops, which gives the water storms as well. Time to relax and absorb more water. Nana Khatabe, spokesperson for Joburg Emergency Services, thank you for your time tonight.